Well, hi, it's Darren from Martin Deerline again. Uh, we're talking about uh, today, I'm going to talk about some feed accelerator and accelerator unplugging tools as, as well as the discharge beater unplugging tool. So, what happens when you plug your feed accelerator? You're driving down the field, we're feeding her up the feeder house, you plug the, the feed accelerator, feed accelerator stops turning. What's the next thing that happens? Your slip clutch goes off for your header because of course that guy's not turning, we're bringing that crop up against there and we butt it against there and now we're stalled tight at there. So what do we do when we plug that? The first thing we're going to do is turn the separator off. You're going to come out here and you're going to come over here and disengage the feed accelerator drive. Now the belt is loose so the feed accelerator isn't turning. As soon as you engage the separator, the feed accelerator is turning. So now with this belt loose, of course, it is not turning. Now we can go back into the combine and this is your first step that you're going to do after you've plugged your, your discharge beater is you're going to do this, you're going to go into the combine, you're going to engage the separator again because of course now we won't be smoking the belt because we're not driving it. So now we can go in and we can reverse the header and pull all that crap that is wedged up tight against our feed accelerator and push it back into the header so you're not fighting taking that out as well. So once that is out then you can go and get your handy dandy tool which fits inside the pulley and then you can put a three-quarter extension on here and bar that out. Uh, you can turn it backwards. It makes it a lot easier to turn it backwards, of course, once you've pulled that amount of material using this tool, or you can use this tool and use a bar in here, or you can just you grab yourself your three-quarter inch snipe and an extension, fitting it into the square of the hole to turn it backwards. Back it up, put your belt back in place, and away you go. Uh, so that's block feed accelerator. In this video I'm going to be talking about uh, the backing up of the discharge beater when you plug it. If you plug the discharge beater, of course this thing has nowhere for the material to stuff and now you're, now you're plugged, right? Rotor is plugged up tight against the discharge beater. So in order to back that off, we use some of the parts of that same feed accelerator un unplugging tool that we were using previous plus this extra piece that you purchase. Uh, basically, I, if you just had one combine, I'd just be bolting this on here and leave it on here. Uh, if you have multiple combines, you probably don't want to buy four or five of these. But uh, if you just had one machine, I'd just bolt this on here. And then if you ever do need to use it, it's just there. So this will bolt on right here in place of these bolts. And what that does is gives you a ro room for this part of the tool to hook in there like that and then you can come in here again using your three-quarter extension and your snipe to turn it backwards and that is how you would reverse the discharge beater to unplug the combine if you have a discharge beater pl plugging situation okay so as we're looking at things on here we have our feed accelerator right here on the combine uh, which smooths out the crop, crop mat and also is part of our rock protection as well for the machine. Uh, they call it FAST is what they use for an abbreviated name which stands for Feed, Accel feed Accelerator Stone Trap. This is the 10 wing feed accelerator. Uh, there is also as an upgrade there's an 8 wing feed accelerator available uh, which gives you a lot better performance out of the feed accelerator. If you're having feed accelerator blocking issues, uh, the 8 wing feed accelerator greatly in, enhances the performance of your feeder house because uh, what it does is in reality the, the circle is smaller on the inner uh, something like when we did the bullet rotor thing uh, with the feed accelerator in, inner diameter being smaller we're able to handle more crop through there that feed eight wing feed accelerator upgrade uh, really helps things out that feed accelerator is also available in the rear as your discharge beater uh, so you can also if you were having discharge beater plugging issues you can put an eight wing feed or eight wing discharge beater in the machine as well, uh, enhancing performance of the machine. Uh, it really makes quite a difference. Uh, it's an upgrade. On our newer machines now, we're bringing them in with the tough 
crop package which includes eight wing feed accelerator and eight wing discharge feeder. Uh, that's the ditty on, it, on feed accelerators.